Why did you bring me here? It was your actions that brought you here. <laughs> Did I frighten you? That was not my intention. I also could not sleep. How did you get in here? Don't you remember how as a child I would steal away to your chamber? <laughs> Whenever a storm came upon us, you would seek me. We all seek comfort. We will find a new healer to attend to you. A cure will be found. I will put all the false healers to death. Well, they have not been able to heal your affliction. Some can still set bones and cure certain ailments of the body. Spare some of them. They need to be inspired by fear. As you are. You imply I fear death? Don't we all? I had to dream again. My wife. My sons. And him. You did what you had to do. Drink this. Dear brother, we are in this together. You cannot leave me in this cruel world, and I surely would not send you away before me. Do you hear it? You do. Don't you? I follow the ways of their priests, and still they defy me. You don't hear that? The Pharisees must be dealt with carefully. They will divide themselves in time. Cease! Cease, I say! I am the Basileus. I am the Golden Eagle. Thank you. 
scepter shall rise over Israel. Beautiful, isn't it? Truer truth I've never heard. You're not even looking. But I am. It's said that watching the clouds drift evokes dreams. That is how I feel when I look at you. You adore me with words of honey. I could adore you every day to my last. Do you mean that? With all my heart. It's not possible. All things are possible. My father looks to join me with another. One to the west. To your family, the priesthood. If they do not agree, we'll run off together. Somewhere far away. Do not say such things. To obey our parents is the law. Speaking of, I should get home. Us together. It's written in the stars. I've seen it. Perhaps in the stars, we see written what we want to see. Is in the lands of Herod. Herod will not accommodate us. Nomadic tribes continue to attack our priests on the outskirts of his lands, yet he does nothing. I still say we should move those priests to a safer temple. Leaving them in the wilderness is as good as casting the stones ourselves. These wild men may yet learn our ways. We must not lose hope, not yet. We must keep our focus on the prophecy. How will you find the child? He will give us further signs in the heavens above. I have sent word to one of our brothers in the Aruad order, a great astronomer, Balthazar. He also has seen the star as a sign of the prophecy. We have received a request from Herod's court, wishing to speak with leaders from our order. No doubt his seers and sages have also heard of this Messiah. To ignore his order could bring us death. Whatever we choose. I will go to Herod's court. I will go as our voice. And I will seek this Jewish Messiah. Melchior, surely you know the danger of this journey. I have waited for this all my life. has had time to process the arrival of the new king. Your Grace.
A Jew king? Hmm. No light in the sky has the power to anoint any man. I am the king of Judea. I was anointed by Augustus himself. Yes, my king. I built this kingdom. There will be no other king. And surely I will not be deposed by a child. When did you get this? Does the court know? I had only just heard, my king. The court has already requested for the Magi to appear. It is likely that they will request to pass through your lands. Bird, perhaps they can clear all this up. And as the body returns, may you find oneness. It's done. Goodbye, my son. I'm your father. I've lost it all. No, you still have me. No. You left me long ago. No daughters to my sons. No laughter of children. You will enter the priesthood. What will become of the land we once worked? What will become of me? You will be provided for. Like the one who begs. I have a calling. Huh. You know that. You speak of sacrifice. You've made a sacrifice of us all. Master Balthazar. We are making arrangements for your travel. Master Melchior will lead us into Herod's lands, correct? Yes. One of our priests, Gaspar, will arrive shortly. He has volunteered for the journey. The finest resin we possess. Perfect. Thank you.
Master Melchior? Ah, boy. Minnie saw the lights in the sky. Was it truly the sign? Truly it was. I wish to travel with you, Master, if you'll allow it. The journey is long and dangerous. Not suitable for a young lad such as yourself. Please, I only wish to serve. If your father approves of this, so do I. Start packing at first light. A lifetime of waiting to welcome this Messiah. Do not get caught in the past. Hmm? My king, lady, the magi have arrived as requested. They await you. All hail, King Herod. Great Herod, greetings we bring you from our homelands in the east. Basilus Herod is honored that you... appreciative. Herod is appreciative that you traveled here so far from your homelands. When Great Herod requests an audience, the Magi give his wishes the highest priority. Do you know why you've been summoned? We would not presume to know Herod's words until he speaks them. But we would wish to inquire as to the whereabouts of one who has been born in your lands, who is the king of the Jews. <laughs> you stand before the king of the Jews as you speak. With respect. Herod is truly king, appointed by men. But the heavens themselves have declared the arrival of the anointed one, a celestial king, the last messiah. There is only one ruler. Silence! Do you know of this messiah prophecy that the major speak of? Yes, my king. I, our priests saw the lights in the sky. And you found it appropriate to inform me with a piece of parchment? The, the prophecy spoke of a baby boy. I didn't hear of a damn prophecy! They wanted... They wanted to be sure before bringing such concerns to you. These men are sure. They came way assured in their journey. You offend my eyes and ears with your very presence. Of where this anointed one has been born. We wish to travel in the direction of Bethlehem. We believe we will be granted a sign leading us to the Messiah. A sign? What kind of sign? 
once again something in the sky, or perhaps not. <laughs> so you truly do not know? Our caravan waits outside your borders for permission to pass. We are not certain of where Messiah is, but we do know that he has come. I think you yourself also believe this to be true. Almost as if you proclaim to know what I believe. Are you not too old to be making this journey? I feel reborn in my search for Messiah. Seek out this child. When he's found, report to me, so that my kingdom and I may go and worship him. With honor, your grace. You may pass upon my lands to seek your Messiah. this messiah different than the others many say the child is truly a prophet there's always a question as to whether or not he's divine it is said that his birthright was announced by an angel did this not also happen to zachary announcing the birth of the one they called john indeed the archangel gabriel appeared to announce the birth of john zachary being old and infertile questioned the angel he became mute for nine months his speech returned when the child was born Interesting. Does your faith waver? Perhaps this angel will come take your tongue. You talk too highly. These are serious matters. Do they think the same angel that came to this virgin stood before Zachary? It's believed to be so. The angels seem to favor this family. It speaks highly of them. I've tried, but it has become impossible to avoid the approaching storm. I noticed it as well. No matter how fast we move, it follows. We should stop and prepare. It is a pass through those mountains. It is risky, but it may provide cover from the storm. We will lose much time if we stop now. I am not risking the lives of this camp for a star in the sky. We stop now. Would you like to assist me? Yes. Find heavy stones and use them to secure the stake. Okay. It's heavy. Use your legs. Right, a storm is coming. We can't outdistance it. And when it seems to change its direction, it matches. I hope Master Malkia is all right. He'll deal with the caravan, Master. Attendants are fearful. We travel with no destination, they say. God knows our destination. That's what Master Melchior said. We must be close. What is that? Forget it. Secure the animals. I must attend to my tent. Was 
Was your day pleasant? Yes. Did you make trade in the market? You know I did. And? And what? You were with her. Father, I don't want to hear your excuses. This is not an excuse. This is about my heart. Do you not respect the opportunity you've been presented with? A priest, no greater honor. I understand how important this is to you, to the family. Good, understood. We will not talk on this anymore. It's decided. You've decided. The greatest love above all things is the serving of God. You have been called. Not me, not your brother, you. Father, I love her. You should put no other love above the serving of a Hora Mazda. But I do. Father, I do. Her. Do not speak these things. Foulness spews from your mouth. That is not ever foul. Turn inside. Why? I do not wish to speak to you. It's about Arzu. I should strike you down. You followed me to the market? This isn't funny. You've got me into big trouble. She is pretty, but not worth it. You should not follow people. It's not a good quality. But lying is. This isn't about me, it's about you. You have a dream opportunity. I don't care. How can you say that? Because I don't. I just want to follow my heart. The priesthood is the highest honor. You're ungrateful. Then go be a priest! I wish I could. They didn't choose me. I'm warning you, do not shadow me. Wish to speak privately? There has been much whisper since we left King Herod's palace. Men will babble and cause strife when they let wickedness fill their thoughts. Your Skywatcher has received no further sign. Perhaps that is a sign unto itself. We will find glorious child. Not if the storm stops us. If we travel through the night, perhaps we can outrun the storm. The men need rest. It is not possible. You've been paid your retainer. Supplies are abundant, yes? Yes. Then our arrangement is on the level. Now, if you think we should hold here for the night and wait for the storm to pass over, that is what we will do. Alive by the grace of Aura Mazda. I 
degree, he is a mad king. Would it have been better to avoid him altogether? We needed to seek his permission in order to travel his lands. If not, he surely would have sent his soldiers. What do you think? Herod is an ill-tempered ass. An evil man is small in all this. So when we find the Anointed One, we will not send word to Herod? We will warn those who protect Messiah to take him away to safety. And the King will find us and have our heads. If it is meant to be, so be it. Spoken like a true old man. <laughs> We've set up the camp as best we can. The storm is now upon us, and it's growing stronger. Your voice hides fear. Do you know the Ammonian tale of Cambyses? No. An army of 50,000 sent to enslave the Ammonians and burn the Oracle of Zeus. A great wind from the south arose, bringing with it a sea of sand that swept over them all and buried them for eternity. So, you do know the story. Do you fear eternity? I do not want to lose good people over a foolish... I didn't ask about good people. I asked about you. I do not wish to die. Not for you. Not for anyone. That was joyous talk, Malkior. Just joyous. If the attendants believe that we have somehow fallen out of favor with Herod, they will abandon us. Perhaps. Is that all you have to say? I should go check on my attendants. To secure my gift for the anointed one, I will return shortly. If this Messiah the one of the one. Do you think we've lost his favor? For fear of our lives, we did not speak up strong in faith against Herod. I fear that we magi just speak the truth only when it's safe. first true trial of our faith, given by him. And we did fail. It was for the greater good. We cannot serve if we are dead. No, 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 no. Uh, accept truth, Balthazar. Stand accountable. If the one is judging us for our defense of truth, his Messiah, must accept our failure. We will not twist truth to give ourselves comfort. I will return soon. Master, I secured the tents, but the storm is getting worse. Bless you, child. Fear not the storm.
little doubt that the Magi have no intention of ever returning to this court. You are to report the location of this child. Should he be found? That is Herod's decree. Yes, Your Grace. You will be paid an equal amount of silver upon giving the child's whereabouts. As for the Magi, once you return to the temple, they will be dealt with harshly. And you, if for any reason, do not return to the location of the child, you will be executed. My allegiance is with Herod. I will not fail. Smart man. Always with this place, since you were a boy. It's so dirty. Have you come here to scold me? No. I've come to listen. You know how I feel. I know you to be full of love. A great gift that you can share with a few. Or with many. A possible savior to our world. I didn't ask for any of this. I know that you didn't. Don't you want to make the world a better place? Of course I do. Few are called to serve. It is a great blessing. It doesn't feel like a blessing. But you will bring great honor to your brothers, sisters, and to your father and I. You're just as blind to my heart as they are. Be reborn again. What are you doing here? This. The smell. Heavenly. I'll be taking this. You a thief. I've been worse. Looks like you stumbled into the wrong tent, young man. There's no need to spill blood. I believe the one rides in on the approaching storm. 
do what you will. For you do not steal from us, you steal from him. Here. This doesn't have to happen now. Why delay what is to be? We can get some help. Oh, enough. Do not pretend to care. There's always your mother, brother, and I tending the farm. You've always been distracted. Placing yourself at the feet of these men, listening to their words, and wishing they would take notice of you to give your life meaning. It is wisdom I am seeking, Father. Look at me. I am wisdom. I've learned much by speaking, laughing, being with the ones that I loved, who were once the ones you've loved. You became a stranger seeking your own path. I watch my son stare into the night sky and dream of the divine. What is more divine than family? A group of souls born to dance with one another in their short passing of life. You've missed so much. Stop. I seek truth. I've read other ways. Well, hear this truth. I've lost everything and everyone that I've known and loved. The sun is setting upon this life. I've sold it all, gave it away. For the last of our line, all of the other voices are silenced in death. It's all upon you, my son. Ugh. Go, live. Forget about us. Follow your path. Something wrong? Doesn't matter. You want me to be the judge of that? I fear we may have fallen out of favor. With the caravan master? You think? Not him. Parrot. Him. There's reason to believe that. We've been tested and failed. At the palace. Herod's chariot lost a wheel somewhere along the race. He would have killed us all. Perhaps we were supposed to die to stand by our faith. Herod beheads people if they're lucky. Crucifixion, nails, barbaric practices. Perhaps sacrifice would have pleased the Almighty. Until the message comes directly from the source, I'm going to live by the creed of the Magi. Perhaps the storm is his creed. 
There's a place not far from here. The family of an old friend. If the storm gets you to be too- You're not suggesting that we desert the camp. All I'm saying is that if it becomes a choice between living and dying, at least we will have a say. We must return. Mention this to Master Milky. Not yet. Tighten it down. Tight. Tight. That's the last of them. I've never seen anything like this. I'll sit here. Are you afraid? Are you? Yes. But I have faith. There's nothing else we can do. Please, lead us in prayer. Ahura Mazda, please show us the best path to truth. Guide us to think good thoughts, to speak good words to do good deeds. Eternal happiness belongs to those who do what is right and true. I'm still afraid. Don't be. The dark heart of Herod has tainted our journey. We still have our purpose. Let us enjoy our fellowship. Let us not think now on weal and woe, but reflect on how we came to be here together. To die together. Each of us chose this path. I know that you, Gasper, have experienced great pain in your short life. Tell me, did you go after her? How did you? What happened? I... Arzu! Arzu! Father is not pleased with your mood. I don't care. He provided a great feast in your honor. His honor. I've heard Arzu is set to be joined. Why do you wish me pain? Do you have no love for me, your own brother?
be confined to a lifetime of raising crops and livestock. You will see and travel to many faraway places. Do I feel bad for your loss? No, I don't. Do you feel for my lot in life? Son Gasper, from the first time I ever saw you, I knew you were special. Now, the world will know how truly special you are. The Magi he will become. I am my father's Isaac, but with no money to replace me. feel right that marriages are made based on exchanges of goods. Sacred union is traded like wheat or livestock on the marketplace. It's the way. The way is wrong. Perhaps that is why you are meant to serve. So that others will not suffer as you do. I should sacrifice my happiness? Perhaps. Many others have. I too have felt how you do now. You? Yes. I loved another before your father. Who? A shepherd boy from a poor family. He had the kindest eyes. My heart flew like a bird when he spoke. I loved him greatly. How could you not speak up? I was obedient. I did as was expected of me. Trappings and possessions chosen for you over the choice of your heart. Your father was firm. He showed his love rather than speaking it. But I did eventually learn his heart. What if the boy you loved? Joined with a family of his own. Do you still think of him? Sometimes. You, my son, are hope. Make this world a better place. You can only do that as a Magi. If you could see him again, would you? I try not to fill my head with things that are not possible. understand your love or your lack of faith I lost my faith in the rituals of mankind when the purest and truest attribute was commanded to be denied 
I don't understand. I had to follow my heart. merely spoke with her. And what did you speak with her about? Thief in the night? I didn't take anything. But you tried! Uh daughter. I did not give you permission to love my daughter. Love is real. Permission granted or not. Your words have often been truthful. But it will not be. No! No! Please! Your calling 
is elsewhere. saw her again. But I remembered my mother's words. If I could not have Arzu, then I could pursue change in the world in her honor. Come forth now from the dark waters and make your intentions clear. I wish to become one. You are here of your own free will? I am. What is it you seek most in life? Truth. I seek the light of truth. We welcome you into our fold with love, honor, and respect. May you go forth into the world, bringing your unique gift. How will you do this? With my thoughts, words, and deeds. Ahura Mazda be with you. Always. Sorry for what happened to you. It is what it is. You had a strong family, didn't you? I, uh... Yes. My family was very different. In what way? <laughs> My father did not care for the priesthood. If it wasn't for my talents, I would have never left the farm. I had a divine passage. It was as if I was staring into the face of the Almighty. A mysterious, beautiful riddle written across the sky. No, 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 no. No, 
You're not dying. We all are. I missed you. I never should have brought you up, sorry. Uh, no, no. I am the one who is sorry. I was the one who failed to understand. you go back for him? This is mine. Where did you get it? There's really not much to tell. Do you have a family? I do not. I was an orphan. What happened to my family, I do not know. I'm sorry. I... He didn't know. No. One cannot miss what one does not recall. I was orphaned at a very young age. The priests took me in. The temple is all I ever knew. I was accepted into their priesthood. My faith was not found, but affirmed. The feeling that each of us could be a savior to our world. We could make the world better by our good deeds and actions. Our founders spoke to each of us being a savior in our struggle for truth and goodness. My instinctual following of their path brought me to a place of leadership. I did not just talk, I did. I did not regard position or status. I took every opportunity to help, heal, or enlighten. Cosmic battle between good and evil exists. I did not live in recognition of this battle. I chose to live only in the light. But the darkness came to our order. The world of the Magi is finished. Try as our will allowed us. We could not be the saviors for this world. And now here we are. We're 
facing death, and you're laughing. We're gonna die? No. We're not meant to die in the desert. There's still time. We can get out of here. Brothers, let us pray once again. us for presuming that we could be the saviors of this world. Save us from the darkness. Save us from ourselves. Please, watch over us. strengthen their faith. Perhaps that was my intention, Gabriel. What brings you here? I could ask the same of you. Strength in numbers? Tis pity. Strength alone doesn't win wars. Our unity in the Almighty has brought us here together. Let it be known that the Magi are under our protection. This must be important. To be born unto this weakness, to live as a man. And you all allowed this to happen. We do not question. We obey. Test us, and you will be obliterated. I do not fear you. I do not fear any of you. I questioned the Almighty, and I was removed from his presence. I was not destroyed. If he was capable, he would have. I have begged him to strike you from existence. And he won't. But surely, I don't want to invoke the wrath of such <laughs> mighty servants. Continue to mock us, and we will see you destroyed. Not without permission, you won't. But let me save you the time. So wishes the Magi to be left alone. So be it. Done. Just three fragile men seeking value in their meaningless lives. Consider them left alone. They come to adore him. They do not need your mercy. They keep looking for the last hope of mankind. Well, the many self-proclaimed messiahs before them didn't do too much to save the world, did they? How easily they fall before anyone giving them the slightest hope. How dare you say such things? No. Let them take their resin and gold and see if it buys their way into the kingdom. Vile tongue. Vile it may be, Gabriel, but true. I will stay clear of your wise men. You know I use that word lightly. But I ask, 
What will the many self-proclaimed wise men think when they wake to me? of the one. I am the hand of the one. Greater than the lightning in Zeus's hand, greater than the radiance of Amun-Ra. Praise be. Rise. Boy. Is he all right? He sleeps. For I have images for your eyes only. I am Gabriel, and you are amongst the last of the Magi proper. Your intentions are heartfelt and honorable, but your tenets are tainted and your faith flawed. Flawed? How? His heart aches for a love lost and never found. Your guilt challenges your faith every day. You both have allowed these experiences to lead you astray. What do you see in me? I see an abandoned boy who gave God his unconditional love and admiration. But you, by your own admission have failed. You spent your entire life inside the temple, studying and discussing what people need to find fulfillment. How can you ever know what it will take to save mankind when you have never learned how to live alongside mankind? You have sheltered yourself from darkness, both out in the world and from within yourself. There are few that are as committed as the Zoroaster. He cannot see us, but we are there. Know that this is often the way for those who do good and for those who do evil. Herod will not be forgiving for what it is you must do. My king. Our scouts have seen the Magi caravan leaving Bethlehem. Ah. Perhaps they have found this so-called Messiah. How long before they reach us? Unknown. Why is this? Because they travel away from us. They've lied. What if the caravan must have? Our communication with him ceased some time ago. He has disappeared. Cowardly fool. I shall raise his head on a pike so all the kingdom may see. So they made it to Bethlehem. If I may. Our sky watchers did observe an event over the city. A bright star. Dead. All dead. I want them all dispatched. Who, my king? All male children in and around Bethlehem, two seasons away. You ask. Oh, I'm ordering. Yes, my king. Herod, are you 
you sure? There is much beauty in the world. It is worth fighting for. You'll be allowed to greet the Messiah, but after you must flee far and never return, for the king's wrath will be great. The people living in Herod's lands, they'll be slaughtered. We have to do something. But we are. Remember, many may be lost, Many more will be saved. The world would never be the same again. You all start out so innocent. Come. Behold. The symbol. What more do you require of us? The Messiah, once grown, will require guidance. Do we sent east? Do not announce it or put it to any writings. Understood. You three may be forgotten in time, but your deeds will not be. That was a wild storm. Yes, but it's over now. I heard you were very brave. Must run in your blood. My blood? Is your father not a soldier? Yes, sir, a Roman centurion. And uh, well, what do they call you? Mostly boy. <laughs> <laughs> but my real name is Longinus. And what do they call you? Fate. 